The class is complete. 13 players will join the green and gold next week after hearing their names called in the NFL draft. And nine of those came this afternoon. They say the third day of the draft is the test of an organization's scouting department, a chance to find those diamonds in the rough and long-term starters to build out the roster. Without further ado, let's take a look at the Packers 2023 draft class. By now, you know the Thursday and Friday picks. First round selection, Lucas Van Ness, an edge defender out of Iowa at number 13 overall. Two tight ends on day two, Luke Musgrave from Oregon State and Tucker Kraft from South Dakota State. And a slot receiver with hops, Jaden Reed from Michigan State. Today's additions bolster the defensive line room. Long athletic Colby Wooden from Auburn in the fourth round and sack monster Carl Brooks from Bowling Green and all max selection in the sixth. In the fifth round, another wide receiver from Virginia, Tay Wicks. And how about this? A quarterback and a kicker. Longtime Penn State starter Sean Clifford, the 11th quarterback off the board in this draft. That's a common draft era record. Will presumably be Jordan Love's backup. And Auburn's Anders, Car Car excuse me, Anders, Anders Carlson will likely replace franchise legend Mason Crosby. Seventh round featuring two defensive backs, two more offensive skill position players for a total of six in the draft. We'll run through them right now. Carrington Valentine, corner out of Kentucky, running back Lou Nicholas III from Central Michigan, safety Anthony Johnson from Iowa State, and wide receiver Grant Dubose from Charlotte. Six out of the 13 draft picks were offensive skill position players. And it's the first time since 2015 that the Packers haven't picked an offensive lineman.